I'm Ron Kuby, and the Obama administration is going to war. It's an old war, but it's new again. It's the war on drugs. And this time, it's taking place with Mexico. Now, now get this. It turns out that for quite some period of time, Mexican drug dealers were purchasing American-made weapons in the United States, taking them back to Mexico to kill other Mexicans who were busy fighting over the rights to sell Mexican drugs to American citizens. And what was the problem with that? Nothing. Zero, zip, zilch, nada. As long as Mexicans were killing other Mexicans with good old firearms made in the USA, not a problema, comrades. No problem at all. But now, unfortunately, it turns out that some of them <gasps> are hurting Americans in America. This has to be stopped. And as a result, Janet Napolitano, our chiefess of Homeland Security, is sending hundreds of DEA agents, Homeland Security personnel, uh, and a Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms agents down to the border to deal with this problem. Hillary Clinton has announced we're going to be sending the government of Mexico Black Hawk helicopters. Hey, here's a thought. Why don't we legalize drugs? and criminalize the sale of assault weapons. Anybody know how many uh, weapons shops there are on this side of the Mexican border, just around the border? Anybody want to give a guess? You're wrong. The answer is 6,600 separate gun dealers on the American side along the U.S. border. Now, why is that? It's because there's a huge consumption in Mexico for American-made firearms. So stop the gun sales, legalize the drugs, problem solved.